Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can quarantine and unquarantine your power apps using Power Automate. There could be a scenario when you are running a power apps into production environment and you want to update that power apps with some changes that your stakeholder has suggested or there is some bug fixes you want to do. But at the same time, you want that the end user of the power app should not be able to access the power apps. To restrict the end user to access the power apps, we call that as a quarantine state. And once the changes are completed to resume your power apps as it is, it was previously, we call that as an unquarantined state. So how we can achieve that using Power Automate? Let's just talk about this. I'll go into my Power Automate and try to create an instant cloud flow. Trigger will be manual. I'll name this as a quarantine app. Create. And next step. I'll search for Power Apps. There is an option of Power Apps for admin. And I'll just type uh, set app quarantine state here. And you can see there is an environment name and uh, Power App name we have to provide. If I go into my app, you can see this is uh, my default environment till here. I'll copy this, paste this inside my environment name and after that this one is my app name i'll paste it here you can get this detail from your uh, power apps detail section as well you can see this is your app id and you can get the environment name from here as well once this provided uh, rest of the details are already filled api version content type and the quarantine status so it is quarantined as of now. This is what we need. And I'll just save this one. Once this is done, I can run my flow. Continue. This is successful. I'll go into my power apps, try to refresh this. And now you can see that there is a message coming up here. It's look like you don't have access to this app. Ask its owner to share it with you. And the second time when I refresh, it's saying this app could not be launched because the app has been quarantined by the admin. And if I go into my flow again, I did this. Now I want to unquarantine this. Just I'll just type unquarantine and save this once i click test manually run flow flow ran successfully we'll go to our app we're able to see our app again so this way you can quarantine and unquarantine your power apps and meanwhile when your power apps is quarantined as a admin as an admin or as an app maker, you can still go to your apps into your makes.powerapps.com or a Power Platform Admin Center. And from there, you can edit your app. You'll be able to make changes, but you are not able to see apps in your browser or in a mobile applications, right? So once the app is unquarantined, then you'll be able to resume the app as it was previously. And uh, to perform these steps, you should have admin control. Otherwise, you will not be able to perform these steps. So I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe to Tech. Thank you so much for watching.